Welcome back, everyone, to Ozarks Fox AM second hour. I've been saying it all day, but the weather is beautiful here in oh downtown gosh. Springfield at the square. <laughs> we are joined by Sarah Abley of the uh, Springfield Regional Arts Council. Uh, lots of stuff coming up, going on. So many things. So top. where do you want to start? Yeah, where do we start? Ooh. Um, <laughs> well, one, in recognition of this amazing day where we're celebrating women-owned and led businesses, um, the Springfield Regional Art Arts Council is led and staffed entirely by women. So that's Whoa. super exciting, and we're really glad to be here. Girl power. Absolutely. Yes, very much so. Um, but our big event that's coming up is actually Arts Fest, May 6th and 7th. We are counting down the days. I'm probably wrong, but about 20 days out from the actual event. Okay. Um, and we hope that we see everybody there. Now, so if so. somebody's not been to Arts Fest like Maddie, which I have I've been, been to before. I've been to a lot of You've things. You've never That's been to Arts Fest? I'm, I'm new to moved. Springfield. Oh my gosh. So, She's going to love it Be though. easy on me. No. I know you will love it. to have your mind blown okay. because it's amazing. Um, so it's May 6th and 7th. It's coming up right after Cinco de Mayo. So prepare yourself. Yes. Um, we're going to have over 100 vendors on the street. We'll have two days worth of performances on four different stages um, with a multitude of genres of music. So there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody. Um, the team from SLT, you guys just talked to Beth Doman, will have performances from some of their troops. Um, we'll have dancing. We'll have all sorts of things. So you'll have to come out. It'll okay. be really fun. Uh, when you say the street, you closed down Walnut Street, we right? We closed down Historic Walnut Street from JQH to National. Mm -hmm. So it's blocks full of just great community-driven events. And okay. guess what? What? Dog friendly. Dog friendly? Dog friendly. <gasps> you can bring your dog. Yes. We do make you sign a waiver so we can keep track of you. But yes, you of can course. definitely bring your dog. We'd love of to have course. them. I, I mean, knew you'd like that. Great. Yeah, you said performances, dancing, vendors, there's mm -hmm. art, food trucks, food out, trucks, out, crazy amounts of food trucks. Um, we have mother's beer. It'll be amazing. Bring your friends, bring your family, mm -hmm. sign up to volunteer if you haven't yet, because we can't do it without volunteers. They Absolutely. are the lifeblood of the festival. Um, and you can do that at uh, springfieldartsfest.org. Okay, okay. There you yeah. go. perfect. Uh, by the way, too, they have a lot of local artists. I try to, what I can afford, try to buy a piece of local art uh -huh. because I like to have that original art because there's so many great artists in there this are. area. We're blessed. We are. It's insane the amount of talent that we have in this area. Um, we have a huge number of local artists coming, but we also have a national pull as well, so there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's one of the biggest arts festivals in the Midwest. You don't want to miss it. Oh, yeah. Well, and my fiance is obsessed with art. So he's oh, going to love that. Yeah, we'll exactly. Be it's going to be It'll be good. Okay. Yes. yes. And then I saw online, you know, you ha you do internship programs with local universities. And with we summer do. coming up, what kind of internship programs are it's, you offering? We've got a little bit of something for everybody. Um, currently, we actually have interns from Missouri State, um, Evangel, OTC, and Drury. So we've got, like, a good selection. Um, because we're the Arts Council, we do so many different things. We have arts admin students. We have opportunities for journalist students. One of them is actually a journalism major at Missouri State. She's amazing. Um, they're basically, if you want to do something involved in the arts, the Arts Council can place you. We can find something for you to get actively engaged in, and we love doing it. So I'm curious, too, so tomorrow we're celebrating women. Yes. So will you have a presence tomorrow, or can people find out about you tomorrow? So we unfortunately will not be able to be at the event tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, just because we're preparing for Arts Fest, yeah. and there's literally right. five of us. <laughs> but Got I will be here. So if you mm -hmm. see me, this face, <laughs> wave, say hi. Yes. Um, and I will be happy to tell you anything you want to know about Arts Fest, or the Arts Council, for that matter. OK. Yeah. Which is amazing. I mean, it's so You're going to love it. It's so much fun. I'm I've, already trying to envision it, and I know it's nothing what my, my mind is creating. It's much more. So mm -hmm. I just. I don't want to, you know, say I'm wishing time away, but like I really kind of I want it to I, be May 6th and 7th already. I don't already. want to oversell it, but you will have a killer time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. And uh, by the way, because winter is finally over, Thank goodness. it's the first time to get out and enjoy Walnut Street uh, for spring and check out local businesses and the food. I'm a foodie and I love all the food trucks. Oh, it's going to be great. It's we've the churros are my jam. Mm -hmm. Footlong corn dogs. Anything that your little heart could want, we will have at Arts Fest. Uh, so if people want more information about the Arts mm -hmm. Council, what can they go to the website? Do you have social media? We have social media. Um, the big one, of course, is Instagram because that's a great way to build an artistic community. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also head to our website and we have a full listing of all of our upcoming shows and events because we have shows every First Friday at the Creamery Arts Center. Okay. Um, also, all the information that you would need about First Friday Art Walk because that's a program of the Arts Council as well. Mm -hmm. I love. Um, yes, it's the best. So, question: So, is yes. First Friday? Or is it two different things? First Fridays, the art walk, and then the and then Arts Fest is separate. Yes. Okay, Arts Fest yes. is separate. But okay. it's all under us. All it's under. All okay. That umbrella. The umbrella of the Arts Council. Yeah. Oh, 
Um, also, too, if, if you are you still taking vendors for Arts Fest? If somebody wants we to are sign up, not. So are you I'm, full? We You're are full. full. Okay. We are okay. full. That's a good um, problem to have. No, that really it is. It's great. We're definitely back to pre-pandemic numbers. We That's are awesome. filling the street. Um, but applications for Arts Fest will open next December, November, December. So okay. keep an eye out for that. Um, we will also be opening registration for Cider Days, which is a partner program at the DSA, um, and our 100 and Under Market, which is all holiday themed at the Art Museum, um, will be opening registration as well. Awesome. Thank you so okay. much. Thank Sarah, you guys. Thank you so much. So, so, so much happening. Arts Fest, May 6th and 7th. It's going to be a great time. You're going to see me there. You're going to see Sarah there. It's going to cool. be awesome. Don't go anywhere more right after this. So you have to go to Arts Fest and then I Saturdays do. in the fall. Yeah, Saturdays in the fall. 